Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually got Xbox actually getting a little bit of drama up on Twitter, and I want to go do a quick little touch on a reminder for all the Xbox Series X Halo editions. So we actually still have not had a few retailers go and actually go and drop those. But as well, it's always kind of intriguing kind of seeing this big old console war going on between the Xbox and PlayStation 5 fans. Because in theory, Xbox is doing not too bad, but of course, no matter what, there's always going to be some sort of issue, especially if you're up on Twitter itself. So we have a few little things to go and talk about, a little bit of a nice little filler video too as well to go and talk about this Xbox stuff floating around. And of course, for these types of videos, I always love to go hear your thoughts and comments on it because it does kind of seem like one of those weird like, yeah, they're technically right, but also technically wrong type of things. So hope you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy. As well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway going on. And we also have the Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stock for your money. Go and base you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. And let's go talk about the random, I guess, people complain on Twitter on the day right now. So, I was going to do a quick little note too as well. We've been saying this throughout a lot of the daily videos, but just in case, because this is more of an Xbox specific video, because we have more of the Xbox homies in here. Don't forget, Amazon is still overdue for the Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Limited Edition console. And same with Best Buy, we are both speculating that the Amazon will be happening soon. Best Buy will most likely be dropping at the same time whenever their PS5 restock drops. And as well, because some of these other big retailers such as Anton Line and other various places such as GameStop, they might actually have a few more additional waves of pre-order stock sooner rather than later. So keep that in mind. But the kind of the big drama for all this stuff, guys, is Xbox. Blame it's fights for game preservation is now mixed with backlash. Well, Matt will bash for those, but basically for a lot of this type of stuff, it's on Twitter. I think uh, overall, I'll give Xbox a, like the preemptive. They've been trying a lot, especially when it comes to old school games, even in comparison to say for Sony. But of course, you can never make the internet happy. So many have commented on the console's DRM issues, which would also kind of make sense too. I think as we kind of get more and more into the digital age, it's less and less of an issue because so many people are always online, always on an internet connection, et cetera, et cetera, always on Wi-Fi, 5G, whatever it is. But that does also not necessarily go clean Xbox and Microsoft from that not being an issue. And I'm definitely one of those people that I'd rather just go, you know, you know, of course, just have all as whatever I want to play my games, I can play my games. No internet issues, no console issues involved. So let's go talk about the kind of the story and drama of like the past like day. Because the Xbox had a huge comeback story over the past generation, which I think has been kind of true. Like the Xbox One launch was a little bit on the mediocre side, but the brand new Xbox Series X and S has been doing very, very good. Of course, granted, not as good as Sony, but that thing is more of a production issue rather than actual overall demand issue. And I'm sure you guys have heard it from many videos. Game Pass is the number one priority, so you have that on PC and other stuff anyway, either way. So basically, some of the success stories have related to Xbox Game Pass. But perhaps more importantly, the inclusion of backwards capability. It's been a hard battle, and despite the company's efforts, some are still unhappy with how some things are. Responding to a meme on Twitter that celebrated Xbox backwards capability program, the company wrote back, the fight for game preservation never stops. So we actually have a little bit of a tweet over here from Astro Gaming, basically saying losing games to console generations. Oop. <laughs> nice Lillian. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you can't go wrong on the meme. I can respect the meme and stuff, all that. Also, a very good show. If you guys have not checked that out yet, go creep on that as of now. But basically, uh, the fight for game preservation never stops is what Xbox themselves responded to. So basically, that comment, which of course, were, like I feel like no matter what on the internet, YouTube comments included, Twitter comments included, you you could literally go and say like, have a nice day. And someone could be like, well, 30 years ago, uh, I, a raccoon fell in a garbage can and we never saw him again. And then people would be upset for some other reason. So it's kind of like you, you almost can never win. Basically, this comment has actually upset a lot of Twitter users who have shared some opinions as to why that's not the case. Some have also referenced the Xbox's DRM issues, which actually popped up a lot. We saw quite a few people like mentioning on that, tweeting about that all throughout these past few days, which an Xbox executive has also acknowledged in the past and said it's something that they could go and improve on. So at least, you know, Xbox is like, yeah, we kind of acknowledge it. We kind of know what's going on. We know it's kind of not the best thing going on. But I've also been kind of quick to mention how the backwards capability program is also no longer even an effect outside of the FPS boost titles, which basically just means it almost like they're kind of calling out Xbox or saying it's kind of like more for show. Like they mention it for the PR, they mention it for the kind of low blow against Sony. It can kind of go either way. I do want to say Xbox actually has a very good past generation system, and it is a little bit better than Sony's, you have to admit. Like some games, of course, like we've heard Jim Ryan kind of have some controversial takes of like, yeah, no one really wants these old school games. 
blah, blah, blah. Which, in all honesty, I kind of agree with. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who like have very special like Xbox games, Xbox 360 games, PS2 games, and there's definitely a good niche market. But I would want to say probably the vast majority of gamers usually just prefer the newer stuff or at least past gen and current gen. But I think in all honesty, if it's easy to do or it's just a nice thing, they should allow old previous generations on both Sony and PlayStation. That's just kind of my take on that too as well. So basically you even see some of the people over here even on these tweets being like, hey, aren't you like literally the only console with DRM? <laughs> and also a lot more other people too being like, hey, you should go bring more Xbox 360 and OG Xbox games on over here. I just sneeze, by the way. Yeah, I'm just going to blame specifically this guy for that sneeze right there. Uh, games with the backwards capability. There are many that can still be added. Uh, continue this preservation. We fans deserve it. So basically, like a lot of people are like, hey, we appreciate the effort you're putting in. We appreciate that you actually are like somewhat a company of your word. And they are definitely doing better than Sony, but also can even factor in things maybe like for PC gaming. I'm definitely a big PC gamer myself. So you see all these things of like a game I bought 15 years ago. And if it's not a multiplayer game, I still have the files, I can download the ROMs, and I can literally go play it on my PC with almost basically no issues. Granted, there's always those fair, like really rare specific cases that certain games can't be done like that. But in general, it's, it's honestly kind of easy to go and do, especially for a PC gamer. So I would love to see the idea of Xbox actually bringing up more games, kind of how people have been kind of giving them some, you know, flack for and hate on. I would love to have them more games. I'd love to have more of the OG games. And of course, if they can even bring up more FPS, just boost, which they've done for previous games already. So I'm sure they can do it now because this it's all of a hardware issue. If anything, I would love that. But of course, the DRM issue is definitely kind of feel like kind of a big deal breaker. I understand that you want to make sure you don't have hackers and stuff like that. But especially for things like single player games out there where it doesn't really matter if you're hacking or not, or if you just want to play the game, you already bought it anyway. For a single player game, I do kind of agree that that DM DRM issue is a little bit more on, well, not the funnest part. And also, seriously, they got a lot of flack from this. Xbox always stopped adding games to the backwards capability library a while back. Now, I love Xbox, but this is definitely stung. Please add more games. So I think a lot of the people that are out there that are even kind of critiquing Xbox on these comments and kind of bringing attention towards this, in all honesty, it just kind of seems like people who just want Xbox to do better. It's not like a cancel Xbox or we're on Twitter, trend Xbox, they're awful. Like, like Phil Spencer, ugh. <laughs> it's just more of like a, hey, like... You are trying. We notice you're trying. Even I myself is like someone who like, I enjoy Xbox. I can see them trying overall, but it does kind of seem like it's just weird to kind of take these easy like shops, like easy shots on people. But like you're you can still do a little bit more. So, you know, what? I'm not going to judge Xbox too harshly on this video. But and of course, while some of these points are accurate, it's easy to look over all the great things Xbox has achieved over throughout the years, which kind of I've been saying too as well. The satisfaction of popping an Xbox 360 disc to your Xbox Series X and begin playing your favorite titles never grows old, which I think is awesome. Like, there's a lot of really cool old school games, but at the same time, they could always do a little bit more. But, I mean, that can go for Sony, that can go for PC and everything over here too as well. Sure, you have to download a version of the game to do so, but it's a small sacrifice and is more than its competitor PlayStation are doing, which I can also vouch on too. And I think this has been a kind of a big contention point for a lot of PlayStation folks too as well, because if they can make it happen, or at least have the download files available on the stores, and be able to go utilize it with the better PlayStation 5 technology, at the end of the day, that's kind of good. Like, I would love that. And of course, in the articles say we're not going to say Xbox has always got it right 100%. And the lack of more backwards capable games definitely stings. But it's more important to know that these are a lot behind licensing issues and are just not feasible to get working on modern systems. Which I could always agree to and to as well. Like, sometimes that happens. You just you just maybe don't own the rights anymore. Maybe the files are weird. Like, I there's a lot of issues that too. But thankfully with all them, they have the FPS boost. They have the auto HDR. And four generations of games that go play in the Xbox Series X and S. And of course, people always complain up on the internet, on Twitter, on YouTube comments, whatever it is. I can give Xbox a pretty good pass. But it definitely has had a little bit of flack. And as you guys probably know for now, we're all just kind of patiently waiting for Sony's next upcoming event to kind of come out. So we're kind of in that, like right now we're on that awkward lull where it's like we're waiting for Sony to do some cool stuff. And then we're waiting for Xbox to be like, hey, brand new Halo is going to be awesome and brand new gear is going to be awesome. So right now we're kind of all just kind of waiting for like the next first step. So I think people are kind of a little bit on edge, kind of waiting for some stuff. And at the end of the day, it's not the biggest deal, but it definitely did bring at least a little bit of backlash to Xbox throughout these past few days. But as well, that's pretty much about it for this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. I'll try my best to give you guys some more Xbox Infinite uh, stock if you got it. Same with PlayStation 5 stock. Make sure you guys are subscribed for the PS5 giveaway going on on the channel itself. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stock, free money. 
Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. There's always a link down below. Give your thoughts and opinions down below too as well on the video itself. Love you guys.